Hey everyone, I thought we'd do a small hunt today um, and work on that Kavoria Codex a little bit. And because I'm a big fan of double dipping. Oh, I guess I already have that one. Let's find that. Um, there's like a kill, th oh there it is, a kill 30. Um, we're going to kill more than 30 while we're out there. Um, but you may as well get the, the kill 30 mission um, and take the reward. It's literally free skill um, for a hunt. That we're already going to do. And so if you're already going to go attempt to codex these. Uh, it might be worth it just to take the quick. Second to grab that mission. And take a little bit of free skill. If you're really adamant about double dipping. Like I said. It resets after about an hour. And by about. I mean it resets after one hour. At the mission terminal. They took. Aziz. Missions from him. I don't know why they didn't want people to keep coming out here on the dock to get the missions. And so they moved them all to the mission terminals. Um, I, I kind of like going out here um, and finding him. Uh, we're going to, and then out, we're shooting up here where this two is. Um, it's going to be the low level, young to old ish. Uh, Kaborias, which are kind of like clams. Um, if you're wanting to hunt high level ones, you're really trying to pump your codex up. Up here in the dam uh, somewhere um, is where the uh, stalker spawn is and the, the higher level spawn um, for these. We're just going to do a small hunt today. And so, yep, right here we are. And so we're going to hit these uh, lower level ones. I'm going to take a loop hill because they're annoying to loop. Um, and I happen to have a few on hand from some boxes that I looted or, uh, the other day. Open a few stronghold boxes. Got a few of those loot things. Um, and like I said, we're just going to do a small hunt. Push up this codex a little bit. Oh, it's going up pretty fast, actually. We'll, we'll, we might codex the whole thing. Rank up, so to speak. Um, I will say these are a little annoying to hunt because they'll readjust your viewpoint and the up down in the water a little bit. But, not the end of the world. I don't know what that Kaboria shell is used for. Probably some, uh, they tried to tie a lot of the loots into the carpentry or something. Um, the Tolan team was really good about uh, giving every resource an actual purpose um, on the planet. So every drop is used in something. Um, a lot of it's crafting and whatnot, obviously. But um, that was really nice, and it really helps drive the economy. Um, on Tolan a little bit um, and they've taken a lot of active steps to to help boost that economy and get it going um, which has been uh, epic I mean in the end it's going to benefit them obviously um, because when people hunt their planet they make money um, but the fact that they saw the foresight to invest in getting the economy going and getting players interested that way between that and the uh, the dropping the, I don't know what it is. It's basically, it's something that they award a, a, some sort of uh, apartment or something on a super epic rare drop. They have and during the events they have that going on. Um, so between the working to get a use for everything and um, the other promo events um, that they decided to go with, instead of just outright selling the deeds, uh, they put them into like a. You can buy some of them. You can buy Mersal tokens or earn Mersal tokens from the instances here. Um, and I'd like to check those out here um, at some point as well, um, just to kind of kind of see. I like the instances. I like the Rocktopia ones. 
Um, I hope they fix that mine one on Octopia one of these days. Fingers crossed on that. Um, but I've done the subway. Um, and I've done the, the booty raid. on Rocktopia, and those are both were really fun. Um, They're not grouped too tightly. It looks like there might be someone else out here, maybe doing a little bit of hunting. And so this 30 uh, Coborea will give us, a, it says uh, three pack and aim skill. So not a lot, but it'll be an extra little, little jump up in skill um, since we were planning on doing uh, a small codex hunt today anyway on them. Careful, you'll get hemmed up on the bottom of the ocean sometimes if you're not careful. I almost want to bump out a bigger gun for this. I mean, I'm trying to work through this pistol a little bit. Um, it's still that one I got on Cyrene. Uh, well, that's how quickly you can just finish that daily, um, if that was all you're really wanting to do. But we got about 15% of a codex um, just in that short amount of time, though. That Kavoria hide is going to be used in some of the carpentry blueprints for sure. I remember that from the last time I was here. Um, so we're excited we got that. I bet that has some good markups still. If not, it actually makes a pretty cool looking uh, rug if I remember right.
But the cool thing about these is you don't actually need um, to wear armor, really. Um, especially if you're just doing the, this side. Maybe if you're up there on that stalker side, um, or in the prowler side, where they're significantly harder. Um, on the lower end of the spectrum, they're a pretty easy hunt. Um, and you get a reasonable codex, even for the low-level ones. I mean, that's a mature, it's like the second, you know, you're getting 0.3%, 0.2%. And so that's pretty nice. So they spawn all the way on along the edge and into this area here, um, as we're seeing. Um, pretty, pretty sizable spawns, um, as we're noticing. So a couple people could probably be rolling through here um, fairly easily and not be uh, waiting on mobs to spawn and whatnot. Uh, I found a loosen. I've never had a real great run on these, but we're really just wanting the codex for the, the attribute views at this point. Um, the next one will give us another uh, attribute skill up that we get to select, um, and that's always exciting. It's even more exciting when stamina's on the list. I don't know if that's the case this time, but we'll see when we get there.
Luckily, they don't make us breathe in this game. Otherwise, this would be significantly more difficult, I suppose. I don't know how I can hold my breath indefinitely and still be a human living creature, but we'll roll with it. I just manufacture air and breathe it out, apparently. Like I'm a plant. We're off that movie. What was that movie? Waterworld? Kevin Costner and his gills. Now we're trucking right along on these codex. Right, we're about two thirds of the way through this codex now. That's always nice. I'm excited. Oh, I always get excited for the skill ups at the end, even if it's not a useful skill. Um, and they've done a pretty good job about making it so there's something that's semi useful every time that you get a codex rank. Make me swim for him now. I was saying they were pretty sparse, but when they do this, there we go. There's a big grouping again. Bigger grouping, at least. We'll take it. Closing in, about 29% to go. I'm going to figure out what those rotten clams go into as well.
I don't know if you all can hear this, but this is literally the longest jet flyover in mankind's history happening. For whatever reason, it literally was the slowest jet. I didn't think you could fly that slowly and not crash. Like, I thought there was, like, a minimum speed to stay in the air. Well, apparently not, because that jet flew over for probably about four minutes, it seemed. So either it flew over or it circled my house three times. I'm not sure which. We got about a quarter to go on this uh, codex rank, and we're going to try and uh, finish that out. Especially since we're getting some Kaboria hide now. That's always nice. So I know that's used in one of the carpets. During that minute teleport back at the end, after we get this codex rank to get the uh, aim reward, uh, we'll look through that Tolan furniture blueprint book and see if I can't figure out which um, blueprint that actually goes to. Um, I picked up a few the last time I was here, although I probably need to stop to heal myself. Or I'll be killed by a clam. I don't know how you live that down. kind of want to use that bigger gun just to rip through these even faster. But I realize that's just my impatience to claim that stat reward. 
And so I'm going to try and uh, stick to burning the pistol out. Although it is definitely tempting to grab the big gun and just go on a quick rampage. We're not going to, but it's always tempting. Shouldn't be too many more kills, I don't imagine, especially since we seem to be getting some of the bigger ones, the, the dominance and whatnot. Although we're still getting enough youngs and matures. It's a nice mix. Um, in that last 10%. So this planet's nice for skilling up, because uh, there's a lot of low-end hunting type mobs. Um, there's a few big mobs here. Um, I'm looking at you, Wahesh, the whale of the sea here. Um, I don't really hunt that. It's too big for me. Um, but there's a lot of like I said, what I would call it, more entry-level mobs um, for your low to mid-level hunter. Um, and so com combo that with the daily. Um, and this makes this planet pretty nice for the, the new player who wants to be a hunter and is really trying to uh, work up those skills, especially since a couple of them go into that looting profession, um, which seems to be pretty important. I'm not sure if it was the looting profession or the amount of skinning that I ended up grabbing, but it flipped it over um, to where I stopped getting all shrapnel and started getting hides and other miscellaneous loot. So my distribution of loot shifted um, pretty significantly um, at some point, whether over the profession level or the skinning um, skill itself. I couldn't tell you which. Because... Um, I'm going to be honest, I chipped in a 10-pad uh, skinning chip, um, and so it boosted both simultaneously. And I felt that was actually a pretty good investment on my part. Um, just because of the distribution of loot changing. Um, unless you're trying to stay getting a bunch of shrapnel so that you can just cycle shrapnel. Because um, you just really enjoy hunting that much. Um, if you want to be getting the stuff that has markup, um, you're going to need that composition to shift off of all shrapnel. Um, and that just comes with... I think skill. Um, I think it was the skinny skill itself after I broke a certain threshold um, and started doing that. Honestly, that's my belief. Uh, but I wouldn't be able to pull that apart from the profession level change. Um, as I also unlocked butchering about that time when I did that chip in. Should be enough mobs for me to finish out this uh, last little bit of this codex. Especially since we're under 4% to go. Oh, this swim's really slow. Oh, it's because I was trying to go down and, and swim forward.
we're about wrapped up. I always get excited towards the end. Yep, there it is. All right, well, we're going to teleport back. I said we were going to look for that book and see if we can't figure out which blueprint that goes into. There's the Tolan Furniture blueprint thing. It is going to be... I think it's this pale blue one. Let's look. Yep. It's, oh, it takes that Dahar skin that we got earlier in another, when we did the Dahar hunt. But, and then it'll use this Kaboria leather, which is just two of those hides in the refiner. Um, but I think you have to, I don't think you can get Adrenal Oil on Tolan. I think that's something that I would have to order in in order to make so but we got a little bit of Kaboria hide enough we could make a few carpets if we wanted to oh we were far enough out that it spawned us back at the citadel which isn't a problem for us because we want this mission terminal right here boom boom collect our little bit of aim skill again happy about it we're going to collect our reward here. What are we thinking? Let's do some melee combat. I'm, I don't melee a lot, so that'll be a nice way to boost that skill up a little bit. And then, oh, we got to select a stat as well. What are our options? Looks like stamina, my friends. Bing! Stamina it is. There we go. And that's the main reason we codex. Love those stamina points. What are we up to? We're up to 34 stamina now. And outside of a couple of missions where I got like one stamina point, so like maybe two or three stamina total, the rest of that all comes from this codex um, attribute challenge. And so I'm super excited they put that in there. Hope everyone's having an amazing day.